Okay, we're going to do a quick review on reviewing uh, of dividing monomials with negative exponents. You have to be very sure of what your operation is before you begin one of these. So this line right here, the division line, that means that you're dividing. It's also the fraction line. So you divide everything separately. The coefficients get divided together. So start there. Always start at the left so you don't lose track of where you are. So this negative and the negative. If you divide a negative by a negative, you know your answer is going to be positive. So we can just ignore those. Your answer will be positive. Then instead of going th doing 3 divided by 6, simplify. Look for the greatest common factor of these two, which happens to be 3. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice. And write exactly what you have. You end up with a 1 on the numerator and a 2 on the denominator. Okay. Then we'll look at the next two. I, is there another x on the bottom? Well, actually, hold on. Before we do anything, I notice that I have a negative 5 exponent and a negative 6 here. The easiest way to do this is to rewrite your question so that all of the exponents are positive. I'm going to rewrite all the ones on the top. These are all positive right now. And then z3. Those are all positive. What I notice is on the bottom I have an x exponent negative 5. We've gone over this in class, but so the negative 5, if you have an exponent that's negative on the denominator, it can be rewritten as a positive on the numerator. And we've gone over the reasons already. y negative 6, the whole entire y negative 6 can be written on the numerator. So now if you look at this, it's a funny looking question. Because I don't have much on